how many kilometers did I run in these shoes? Oh my goodness, it is, I've never run that many kilometers in a pair of shoes, ever. Now, if you find these videos helpful, please uh, subscribe down below, hit the bell uh, to get the notifications when new videos come out. Hey everybody, how's it going today? Huh. All right, so as I sit outside of my front porch, I'm thinking, you know, there's a lot of snow out here. It's Canada and why aren't I filming it inside? And to be quite honest, I'm an outside guy. I, you know, <laughs> I don't really like to be cooped up in a house all the time. And I just, you know, I'm a kind of a porch guy. I like sitting on the porch, looking at the, the world go by. I don't, I haven't done shoe review or anything like that before. However, today's gonna be a little bit different because today we got the Ultra Torrens. Now, with the Ultra Torrens, guys, I'm telling you, for people who don't know about the Torrens, these, this company is flipping awesome. I totally, totally, I'm a fan of this, guy, this company for sure. I've been looking for a shoe that could help me in my running, help me with my form, and help me uh, with my legs and my joints and give me the support I need. So I used to be a Saucony runner, okay? I used to have Saucony Triumphs and the Caveras, and those are great shoes, don't get me wrong. Um, and I probably, may, I may run in those again. However, I am super, super happy with my Ultra Torrens, like those guys, right? These are the fours. Right? I don't have one of those fancy little things that go, does circles, but there you go. This shoe is a zero drop shoe. Uh, you can see all that. Okay. Now, this shoe is a zero drop shoe. And what is a zero drop shoe? Basically, from the heel set, from the heel to the, to the metatorsal, which is kind of right about here, right? there is zero drop, it is flat, it is the same right across. So you don't have this huge, huge heel in here. Uh, and I find that when I ran in the, in my, uh, in my Sauconies, the Triumph was so built up, I think it's like an eight millimeter dro drop. I mean, it, it's huge. I would kind of land basically all on my foot. I had no tread wear up here. It was all at the bottom. So it'll be interesting to take a look at, at what's going on and see how I've improved. It's 9.1 ounces or 258 grams. Uh, the stack height's 26 millimeters. It's a moderate road running shoe, engineered upper mesh, uh, upper mesh. I'll tell you guys, this probably is my most perfect road running shoe. I'm not kidding. This is a flipping amazing shoe. They also have this really, really cool tongue in, in here. And I don't know the exact name of, of, of how it is, but it's, it's riveted in, right? It's sewn in on each side. I don't know if you can see that. So basically the tongue, when you, when you put your foot in, it literally locks down, locks down your foot perfectly and it's snug and it's very, very cool. Now, I love that fact, right? I love, I love the, the, the lacing, right? I like how it keeps everything really tidy. Uh, there's a, you know, the, the, the mesh upper is very, very cool. Now, here's the thing, guys. Like this shoe, you're looking at this. I haven't washed this shoe once. Not once have I washed it. I have run, I have run 1,000 miles in this pair of shoes. Okay, 1,000 miles. It's like basically 1,600 kilometers. So I think that I have a little bit of experience with this shoe. 
Um, when I got it, the very first day that I was out running, I don't know if you could see it, but I had a rock lodged right in that spot right there. And I thought, oh my goodness, shoes are going to be toast. I'm going to need a new pair of shoes. Guys, it didn't bother me at all. The rock was like serious. I had to get it out with a knife. The rock was so deep in there. And now I never felt it. It was fantastic. Loved it. Now, this shoe here, um, it's, it's not a stability shoe, guys. Like, look at this, right? It's very, very flexible, right? Like, crazy flexy, right? And the other thing about this shoe, which is cool, is the back, right? The cradle, it's very, 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 very loose, right? So there's not much stability. But here's the thing, it, the response, of the Quantic foam uh, that, that, uh, that uh, Ultra calls it is fantastic. So when I'm out there for a long run, whether it's a short run, it really doesn't matter. The responsiveness of this shoe is phenomenal, okay? Now, Ultra's big fame, big claim to fame and everything else is their big wide toe box. Now, again, I yes, I'm a fan. It does have a big wide toe box and it allows your, feet, your toes to splay, right? It allows your, when your, your foot comes down, right? It's not confined, right? Like rigid, like this, and, and with all your toes squished together, right? It doesn't do that. It, it allows them to splay on the inside and have room, right? To not get any blisters, um, to not even punch holes through this. Like, look at this, nothing, nothing around. My toes have not come through at all on this shoe. It, phenomenal when I think about it. Um, so the foot shape really, really makes a difference. It's fantastic and I love it. I would say after all of the mileage I've done, um, is it's, it's, it, like, there's really not a lot of bad things to say. Um, you know, so I've talked about the zero drop, right? So again, it gives you space in the upper. Um, I've also talked about stack height. I've also talked about zero drop, right? I've talked about the, the, uh, the mesh on the top. I've talked about the tongue, the awesome laces. Um, inside, right? It's nothing extraordinary. There's just this little piece of foam in there. <laughs> and, um, and inside, right? You can see that it's knitted, but it's still, I don't, you, you can't see it, but you know what? There is, it's very responsive still. <laughs> I don't know. So, what do I like? I like absolutely everything about it. The thing I don't like is the laces. These laces are flimsy, right? Flimsy. They come untied all the time. Um, so, after my first couple of runs, I've actually had to double them up. Uh, I had to double these up, and they've been okay. Now, I also have the Superior 3.5s. Those laces, you tie them once, you don't have to do anything with them. Like they're, they're awesome. But with the Torin 4s, that's one thing I have found these laces, they're not the best and uh, they do literally just untie themselves. So everybody, I mean, we've got a couple, I mean the foam, obviously it's, it's you know, it's starting to see some wear, but um, tread pattern. Let's talk about the tread pattern on the bottom, right? So. On the tread, they have um, the rubber in all of the, basically the right places, right? Um, except where, except where I stepped in the, uh, on that rock on the side of the road. It's not a country road. Um, but I wanted to see if these shoes, right? If these shoes could go ahead and change my form. And let's look at this. Right, I've got a little bit of wear, right, on the mid, right? So obviously I have changed a little bit. Now, as I look down, I do have some, a lot of wearing right here. So clearly I haven't totally changed my gait. Uh, now, I, I know I've been filming myself and I can see that I have changed like way more than I used to run. Like absolutely, like it's night and day, okay? If I can dig up some, some footage, I'll show you. 
but um, but with this, uh, I, I'm not laying. I'm landing on one part. I'm landing on this part right there. So the wear has come down, and then on the midfoot, I'm also having seeing some wear and tear as well. Other than that, not bad, right? Now, check my other foot. My other foot's not as bad. Not as bad. It's still worn down a bit, but um, again, right across the mid, right, we're seeing wear here as well. So for a thousand kilometers, 1600, sorry, a thousand miles, 1600 kilometers, I'm going to say that there is still a lot, like a lot of tread still left on these shoes for me to run in, right? What did I spend? Right, it's 120 American, and I think it worked out to like 145 Canadian. Uh, I got them at the Running Room. You can get them at Running Free. Right now, they're sold out across Canada. You can't get them. And if you hop on to Amazon, you can but you can buy them there. You can see the link down below. Um, they are going to be more because I don't know what their supply chain is like in Canada. So I think there are a couple of sellers on Amazon. So that is my impression of the Ultra Torin 4s. Not the plush, just the Ultra Torin 4s. I love them. Fantastic shoe. I'd, I wish I actually bought another one, but we'll see what they come out with uh, this year. And I think when they come up with the 4.5, I think it's going to be very, very small increment changes. I don't think we're going to see massive changes. Um, the one thing that I would like to see on these is, is a better shoelace that doesn't come in tied like after like five minutes of running. Um, that would be the only thing. They work well. <laughs> Anyways, I am not sponsored by, by, by Ultra at all. This is literally just my review of running a thousand miles, 1600 kilometers in a pair of shoes, zero drop. If you're thinking about buying a pair of uh, zero drop shoes, you want to slowly kind of work your work your mileage in, okay? Don't go out and start running 20 kilometers in them. I would take them out and maybe do like five kilometers the first time you run, or maybe even less. The reason is, is because you your calf muscles uh, will get a lot more developed in a zero drop than they will if you're running in a uh, uh, in a higher stack shoe, okay? Uh, that's got like a drop of like anywhere from four to eight. Um, that's one thing that I noticed. However, give it a little bit of time. Honestly, after about a month, my calves were awesome. They were stronger. Uh, my form did change. I was really, I was a bad heel striker. Uh, these have changed. Obviously, I'm still, I still have a little bit of work to do, uh, which I am working on. And uh, these, these are awesome. Like, I think, uh, I think anyone would be happy with a pair of the ultras they have amazing trail shoes as well and maybe i'll do a review on the superiors but uh, that is my review on the torin 4.0 oh. hope this was helpful in your uh in your decision in terms of a shoe to buy and i would love to know your comments down below what you like or dislike about the ultra torin fours have a good one everybody and until tomorrow run wild